Good afternoon. This is Carla Minter. In my ninth month of working from home, this is November 2020, and I have a question for you. Wondering what your first job was, the first job where you got paid. My first summer job was working at a small town bakery, and I learned some things about what it takes to make bread, donuts, and um, sell them. They called the place the sweetest place in town. Get it? So when I worked at this bakery, I would get there about 5.30 in the morning, but the owner had arrived around 1.30 or 2. It takes a while to make donuts and bread, and one of the main ingredients is yeast. In this time of COVID, it's interesting that there's been a resurgence of baking, whether it's sourdough, uh, that's one way for the yeast to activate, um, whether it's actually using dry yeast, which we um, bought the stores, uh, bought it out for a while in the stores, now it's back. But people are going back to that um, old tradition of baking bread. It's been a good thing for us. And as the weather's ge weather is getting colder, I think a lot of people are, are looking forward to baking, uh, spending some time inside since we're uh, spending more time at home in this COVID season. The interesting thing about yeast is that Jesus also used that, that as a parable and an image for what the kingdom of God is. So how is yeast, how is yeast an example of what might be good news for people or something that is positive, restorative? Well, what's really interesting is that yeast is a positive metaphor for something that has that that creates remarkable growth. Um, you can't stop it. Once it gets going, once it has the right conditions, it really grows, it really flourishes. It's also somewhat hidden. Um, just looking at a pile of, of wet flour, you can't tell for sure if there's yeast in there um, and whether or not it'll grow. Maybe the temperature was too high and you killed the yeast. But when the conditions are right, when you know how to put the thing, the, the various pieces together, it demonstrates remarkable growth. And that's good news. And I feel like that's what I can do in this season of COVID. If I can be a positive presence, um, the kingdom of God is not just for something that happens um, like after life or something uh, beyond when I'm here, but it can happen now. It is supposed to happen now that I, in what I do and what I say, I can foster a sense of, of caring for other people. And that's good news. And that's the kingdom of heaven uh, here on earth. So when I worked in this bakery, um, what I did was wash dishes and sell donuts, but I watched the baker I saw how he took big chunks of yeast and worked it into a large amount of flour. I also watched my mother make cinnamon rolls and uh, sweet breads with yeast. I watched how she put, it, put the yeast in the right temperature of water and then mixed it with the flour. And it made a beautiful product. And then after a while, I started making yeast bread and I imitated what I saw the other people doing. And so I learned how to, how to um, choose the right temperature of water, the right amount of yeast, the right of flour and mix it together. So the story that Jesus tells about the kingdom of God is like, or the kingdom of heaven is like, is from Matthew 13, verse 33. The kingdom of heaven is like a woman that took yeast and mixed it with three measures of flour until it was all leavened. Now this is like 50 pounds of flour, a hundred loaves. This is a big batch. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until it was all leavened. So in this time where we are not only imitating, but innovating, 
because the times um, we don't have necessarily all the same resources we typically do. When you run out of yeast, you go with sourdough. For another example of innovation is my oven went out. So I've learned how to bake in my iron skillet, uh, cast iron skillet on the stovetop. Not quite the same, but this, this <laughs> sense of adapting to what is when we need to is an important uh, thing to remember during this time, especially of COVID and really for all of life. I've learned how to bake bread by watching others. And there are times when I have needed to innovate, to adapt in order to create the product that I want to. In the same way in my life, I imitate others, but there are times when I need to adapt. And the, the stress, um, the unknown of this season is a time where we can adapt, but we need not fear, we need not worry. There are people that we can continue to follow and to imitate as we adapt to this, to this season. So as you look toward the holidays, as you adapt and innovate in our um, area in Northern Indiana, um, we are being encouraged to not meet in big groups. And so I innovate, I adapt. Um, I won't be meeting with my family, but I'll be making some bread at home for my, my husband and I. And um, we've innovated by having a online, um, like we're calling it the turkey trot, where we'll do some kind of exercising outside and we'll encourage our extended family to do that. And we'll then we'll, we'll give the, the funds that we raise to a, a charity. We've innovated and we've adapted. And I learned that way of innovating and adapting as in some ways by working at that bakery. Very first job. I watched, I learned, and I also learned how to adapt. Yeast is hidden. You can't always see it, but it's present and it grows in remarkable ways. And in the end, it creates a beautiful product. So Take these words with you as you continue to grow in your life and innovate. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until it was all leavened. May it continue to grow and increase. Blessings on your day. Bye-bye.